In this video, I'm gonna break down my Solo Victory Cup Finals win. If you're trying to get better at Solo Victory Cups, this is the perfect place to do it. Before we get into the game, if you're trying to improve your mechanics, I have tons of really good creative maps down below that'll help you out. But with that being said, let's hop into this video. In the early game, I landed at Reckless Railways. Usually I try to land at a big POI and go to a side of it that isn't contested. So I saw while I was flying in that everyone landed on the far side of the POI. So I landed in the middle and I planned and unlooting a little bit and then going to the empty side. But when I was rotating to the empty side, I noticed somebody is there, so I had to stay in the middle here, which is not a good spot to be since I have danger on literally all sides of me. But I got some quick loot and then went over to the building that the boss used to be at and somebody was there too. The good news is I already had decent loot, so I just decided to dip out of there. Nobody had claimed the forecast tower yet, so I built a big brick base up there. And then I left for a second to go refarm some brick before before I camp up on the forecast. But right as I left the forecast, somebody snuck up there and fried me in the back. So at this point I was like, all right, whatever, dude, I'm getting out of here. I'm just gonna go farm up some mats and we'll get ready for end game. I farmed my metal on the inside of the building. That way nobody could sneak up and fry me. It's always good to think about the safest way to farm metal since it takes so long. But after doing that, I realized nobody had claimed the boss yet. So I'm like, did that guy that fried me in the back not play for the forecast? And it seemed like he left it alone. So I go get the forecast tower and I almost die in the process. This boss literally fried the crap out of me. And then I just safely push through my builds, get that card in the forecast tower, and boom, we are chilling. At this point, I'm low on mats, low on heals, and the zone pulls far across the map. So really at this point, I'm just farming up mats, working my way to the zone, hoping that I find maybe some extra heals along the way. I got shot at at one point here, lost some of my shield, but you know, slowly got it back. We're just working our way across the map, trying to get to the zone. While I'm rotating, I'm getting tagged here and there. That's kind of just a part of the process of a long rotate like this, but I just keep on moving along. Since I don't have the most shields, if I see an opportunity to jump someone, I'll take it but I'm not gonna force it. Eventually, I get all the way across the map to Pleasant, and I find a building that has Fizz and Minis just laying there. So that's perfect, that is the refresh I needed. But that's when the unexpected happens. This random guy just shows up and starts fighting me in this building, I don't know why. Maybe he needed a refresh, or he's just trying to W key like Peterbot. But in these types of situations, you know, we're playing for the win, we're not playing for kills. So I just play really slow in my builds, especially at this point in the game, like it's almost end game. A fight right now is beyond pointless. If it was earlier in the game, maybe I fight back. But we gotta be focusing on our next rotate. As you can see in the minimap, it's pulling far. Eventually, by playing slow, some third party showed up, shot him in his side, and that gave me a second to breathe. I use a little fizz and trade it for minis, just so I have more variety in my heals, and then I get on out of there. I know that player is just full on psychoing me for no reason, so I know I need to watch my back. Sure enough, as soon as I left, he ditched the other player that was there and started following me, trying to fight me along this rotate for no reason. He might have wall hacks or something and see my name, or he just happened to rotate at the same time. Who knows, but I'm just blocking the back while I'm rotating into the zone here. When I get shot from the front as well, I just completely pause my rotate. There's no reason to keep forcing my way in because if I get fried in the back, then I'm gonna just be pinched from two angles getting lobby focused. So I play slow, let the other player pass me, and that's when I choose to rotate in. Now at this point, I don't necessarily need a refresh, but I go for it anyway. A quick spray into this guy's box when I have a drum shotgun could be really useful. But the second I don't get in on first try, I give it up and I just base up. I see two players start to fight on the back edge of zone behind me. So I just start looking at that, look for a beam with my AR, and as soon as I get one, I build up. I go for the cone, I thought I got him in this box, turns out he got out. Unfortunate, but I just stay here, they're still fighting, so I might have a chance to get that refresh. Sure enough, I have another opportunity to fight him, he's just standing against my cone here. I get the crack right away, he was not healthy, but I need his materials. So I continue the aggression, hit him for 80 white, and then he just keeps on running and eventually the zone starts pulling us in. After some time, you know, continuing to fight this would just put me in a bad position. It's time to give it up. I rotate ahead in the zone and we're just a bit more shambles now. Part of the reason I was playing so aggressive is because I still had another game and the time for queuing into that game
team was just about to expire. There was five minutes left in the tourney. I had a late start to the finals because of some Q bug. So if I died going for that refresh, you know, at least I can get my last game. But if I wait, go for a refresh later on and die then, I won't be able to get another game. But long story short, I had to give it up. I had to get in and now we're playing this game out. The next zone pulls max and I have players on all sides of me. I know that during this rotate, I should be looking for a refresh. So as soon as somebody goes ahead of me, I just follow their path. I'm looking for somebody that's exposed that I can shoot in the back and maybe box up on this rotate. I probably should have gotten a bit more aggressive looking for it, but I just didn't see anything super good for me. So eventually I get all the way in, the next zone pulls back, so I just base right on the edge. The guy underneath me starts fighting me, so I branch out to the side one box. At this point, I'm just protecting my box, you know? Fighting this is a little bit awkward. We're on back edge of zone, we could easily get sprayed. If it gives me an opportunity, sure, I'll jump in, but there was really no opportunity. A lot of times in a situation like this, people rush for the refresh, but really all you gotta do is play patient. So as the first moving zone is starting, you know, I fizz up and I'm just looking for somebody to rotate right over my top. Maybe I can shoot them while they're rotating by and then jump them ahead of zone. That's what I'm looking for while I'm sitting in this cone, but I actually don't see a good opportunity. I saw someone base in wood right underneath me while I was jumping on this first rotate. I try to go for a quick spray in from above. You know, if I get him off guard here, drum shotgun in his box, it's over. But he placed a cone which messed up my phase in, so we look ahead on the next rotate. We don't over aggress. We go for those quick little plays and if they don't work, we look next. That's when I look ahead, I hit this guy for whites. I track where he went, I see where he based up, I get on his front edge and I start to attack. Luckily, I got his wall first try and I was able to quickly end that fight. I trade my minis for some flops because it's really important to have a lot of white heels in these end games. And somebody actually tries to jump in really quickly on me. I can't lie, I messed up the ramp flip and if he would have jumped in, I probably would have died there. But as soon as he failed that phase in, I get back in my other box, break out, and now we're set up again for end game. We're gonna need another refresh eventually though because I don't have the most mats. But for now, I'm just playing my materials, getting all the way to the front edge. On these rotates, I'm always looking for an opportunity to jump in on someone, but if it's not free, I don't go for it. At this point, I'm all the way on low ground here. I know that I need to get off this lair pretty quickly. This is just jump in territory. Everyone that runs out of mats is gonna be jumping in down here and you're gonna be in a never ending cycle of fighting. So as soon as I got in, I fizz up and I get ready to jump to an upper lair. Once I get to that better upper lair, this is when I need to start aggressively looking looking for a refresh. One refresh is all it's going to take to give me the win here. So as I'm rotating these next zones, I'm just looking for opportunities to chop in on players or shoot ahead at players that are rotating early, really looking for any opportunity, but I couldn't find one. I kept on trying to fight this guy under me and messing up my phasins, and I ended up using almost every single material. I had two builds left. So the plan here is fizz, get ahead, and make sure that I stay on an upper layer because it's pulling up a mountain. I have a perfect opportunity to jump in on this guy. I hit him down to one HP and then I get right ahead of him, use my two builds to get myself safe and pressure from these old builds. I knew he couldn't edit on me because these builds were old. And at this point, I know he's weak. I just have to hit this phase trick perfectly. I get his wall down to one HP with my pickaxe and use my momentum to phase in. All you gotta do to do that phase trick is walk at full speed while swinging the pickaxe. If you can time it right, you can go right through the wall and I was able to finish that kill. I didn't really have time to think and grab the correct heals off that body. I should have grabbed those splashes because we were about to enter heal off territory in the game, but I didn't have time because it was pulling up a mountain right away. I needed to crank 90s, get up, otherwise this game was over. And this is when I make the game winning play. As I'm cranking up, getting into the zone, I see height get chopped out from above me. I was able to get him floored off so that he couldn't build back up to height, and then I claimed height. And when you have height and you have good white heels, it's pretty much over. But the only thing is, I only have three medkits. That is usually not enough to win heal off, but it's time to assess the situation. First off, we have to defend height, make sure nobody cranks up above us or teleports above us. I see everybody dropping down, try to apply a little spray here and there to keep them down, and I drop down with them. Not too far to the point where they could make a play for height, but far enough so that I don't die if I get chopped out, you know? Eventually, without really having to do any work, it's top three. And this is where I need to make a decision. Am I gonna drop down and play aggressive, or am I gonna play these three med kits? I look down and I see nobody's in the zone underneath me. Somebody was running out of the storm, meaning he already took a lot of storm damage. And that usually means he doesn't have a lot more white heals. And the other player was nowhere to be seen, meaning he was already playing heal off super early. So three medkits might be enough. 
I use my fizz and jump and slide into storm while popping my medkits. One of the players died out pretty quick, so now it's a 1v1 heal off. And I could have kept on looking for more white heals further back in the storm, but I heard the guy running around. I saw his footsteps. He was getting aggressive looking for heals as well. If he had enough heals to win the game, he would have just been sitting still trying to stay quiet. But because he's on the move, I know he doesn't have much. I might be able to win this with the heals I have. Sure enough, eventually I hear him running around, spraying random builds, getting desperate, and that's when we got the win. Let's go! Jared, you're crazy! <laughs> no way, oh bro! Oh my god! You god coach! Way. God coach! Play forever box fight!